Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In light of this morning's long overdue executive order on religious freedom and free speech, I rise today to thank my colleagues in Congress on their support for a thorough reform of the Johnson Amendment, which has hindered the ability of faith-based nonprofits and churches from engaging in free speech and exercising freedom of religion. Since 1954, the Johnson Amendment has given the IRS the broad authority to censor the free speech of pastors, churches, and other tax-exempt organizations across America. The IRS's vague interpretation of prohibited forms of speech under this law has led to uncertainty about what speech constitutes a formal violation. Furthermore, when the Johnson Amendment was originally adopted, it was passed without debate, committee hearings, or any other procedure we use in Congress today. We need to allow America's churches, pastors, and other faith leaders to speak freely on all spheres of life, including relevant political candidates and elections. We need to return free speech back to our spiritual leaders and faith-based organizations without fear of government censorship. Thank you, Mr. President, for acting to ensure that America's churches will again be a safe place to discuss all important matters in life. While today's actions are a strong start, there is more work to be done to protect religious freedom in the United States of America. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.